New reported nursing home deaths continue to show a troubling trend across New York State, but especially in the western New York region. The nursing homes, we said from day one, are the most vulnerable place. But the governor is still wary of the latest figures. I would just have a caveat with all of these. I think they're going to change over time. At home, State Assemblyman Sean Ryan is pressing the State Department of Health to do more. We don't have a nursing home regulatory system set up to handle this crisis. He's calling for stricter, unannounced inspections, which the DOH has agreed to, and harsher financial penalties. But it's not just about saying, gotcha. It's about what do you need? Do you have enough PPEs? Do you have enough staff? Is your current system being overwhelmed? The State Department of Health has received 2,500 nursing home complaints since March 1st. It really comes down to that nursing home has to know what its limits are, who it can provide care for, uh, and who it can't provide care for, and we have alternatives. Then we need to talk about removing people from nursing homes, shifting them to other nursing homes in our communities, that have the capacity. Lawmakers are asking nursing homes to speak up if they can't handle patient load and have separate measures for COVID cases so the state can step in to help. You do everything you can, but at the same time, you can't do everything. Ryan also insists on more transparency on poor findings for families and the public. Going in, working cooperatively with the operators, recognizing operators who are not cooperative, then we can take you know, harsh actions against them. The DOH says if a facility is found to not be in compliance with directives, it has to submit an action plan and can be fined up to $10,000 per violation or lose their license. Madison Carter, 7 Eyewitness News.